later. When you type this in, I want you to practice typing 9 fifths times negative 100 plus 32 and see what you get. I'll give you a couple of seconds. More questions. Trevor, pick one that you're a little unsure about. Um, and you'll see some of these problems, yeah. Oh, thank you. Like the, the write the expressions. Write the expressions. Okay. Um, I don't know if you have to like, write those backwards. Okay. Five less than a number. You're going to translate it into some sort of symbol. Add, subtract, multiply, divide. If you read a number, you can write that as an X or an N. You can use any variable, variable you want. A lot of my students wonder, when do you write backwards? What are the words that mean writing backwards? Uh, more than and less than. Right. More than and less than. So when you read five less than a number. Because of that less than, you're going to write backwards. Five less than what? Five less than what? Five less than a number. Six more than twice a number. I see that more than, so I'm thinking writing backwards. Six backwards. More than twice the number. Now, what do you write when you read twice? Uh, twice. Two times, and in this case, it's a number. The last one, three times the number, increased by six. Nowhere do I see more than or less than. So now I know I'm just going to write as I read. Three times the number. So three times. That's how you write three times. Three times what? Three times the number. Increase. What do I write for the word increase? Uh, by six. Three times the number. Increase by six. So when do I write backwards? Less than or more than. That's my clue that I'm going to go back to. Number 11. Number 11 says solve for x. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a line down my equal, of course. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say to myself, what happened to x? There was a number x. And the first thing that happened to it was we added 5. And then, after we added 5, we divided by 2. And then the last thing that happened to it was we subtracted 7 from that result. So when I start wiping things away from x, I have to do it in reverse. So the last thing that happened to x was we subtracted 7. So that's going to be the first thing I'm going to undo. How do you undo subtracting by 7? Yeah. Add 7. So we're going to add 7 to both sides. The subtract 7 and the add 7 have now wiped away to 0. I'm left with x plus 5 divided by 2 equals 3 plus 7 is 10. So now I want to get rid of this division by 2. And how do you undo division by 2? Multiply. multiply by 2. If I multiply by 2 on the left, i got to multiply by 2 on the right-hand side of the equation. The multiply by 2 and the divide by 2 cancels out to like 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1, leaving me 1x plus 5 equals 10 times 2 is 20. Now, one more step. We don't have x alone yet. It still has that add 5. How do you get rid of adding? Subtract. Subtracting. And that leaves you with... 
20, take away 5 is 15. And there is your solution, x is 15. Perfect. Do you know the bonus for the test? You want to review for it? Sure. Okay. You will have to fill in the blank. If you want to do it right, then listen to, look at the equation, what do you, find the variable and focus your eyes, eyes. watch what happens, it's no, Surprise. undo whatever is being um. done, it's really not hard, it's kind of, Fun. if a number is being added, you, the number disappears. It's a good. If a number is being subtracted, then you get a life. It's not that bad. If a number is being multiplied, you divide. The number disappears. Have I ever lied? If a number is being divided, you multiply. multiply. That's it. It's gone. Adios. Goodbye. Goodbye. Just remember to do it to both sides. sides. Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Number 12, on the review packet, you're going to draw a line down your equal sign. As soon as you see a parenthesis, you know that there's a distributor. You look in front of the parenthesis and you see a positive 2. Now, what am I doing with the 7x? Well, I'm just going to drop him down for a minute while I distribute. You're always going to distribute first. Positive 2 times x is 2x. Notice no more parenthesis. 2 times the 5 is a 10. No more parenthesis. And then on the other side, you have a 9x plus 10. So now, I'm going to make this easier by combining like terms. On this side, I have a 7x and a 2x, and that goes to 9x. 9x plus 10 equals 9x plus 10. As soon as I see this, the same thing on both sides, I know this is a strange one. What's going to happen? Infinity. Exactly. When I subtract the 9x onto the other side, I get both of them to wipe out, and I'm left with a truth. And when you're left with a truth, 10 equals 10, that means that any x, any negative number, any positive number, any decimal number, could have been put in for x, and it would have worked. 9x plus 10 will always equal 9x plus 10. So x is all real numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity. X is everything. That's the solution. In infinity.